here's what happened. I installed the lower half of my aero grill that I've been waiting to do for like ever now, probably like three weeks, four weeks. Um, I went out and bought a Dremel to put it in and I edited the video. It was a pretty good video actually. Like I even had a little edit of me washing the car and shit and it just turned out really good. Like I was pretty happy to upload it, especially because no one really tells you how to put on the aero grill. I mean, the one that I got, it was the wrong one, but okay, so mine was for an aero bumper and the one that was for my bumper only came in gloss black or chrome and I wanted uh, that trim color black, you know, just a straight plastic. So the top one fit, but the bottom one didn't, so I had to custom fit it with the Dremel, you know, took some time, definitely was the first time you doing it, so it's kind of new, but you know, I, I I got it done. Fuck, don't tell me that I was shaking the whole time. Well, if you've seen that shit shaking, it's because my car has a polyurethane lower motor mount. Um, hopefully you can hear me well. So yeah, sorry about that. Um, honestly, just get the Dremel, cut out the hole. The tabs won't line up, so you gotta cut new holes for the tabs and then just try your best to fit it in there watch I'll, I'll show you right now and i'll go ahead and um i don't know do a little car wash edit or something because my car is pretty dirty so so yeah so you see how the uh, bumper sticks out on the edges. I'm not sure if the aero bumper is like, what do you call it? Recessed more. But uh, I mean, I, I could have fixed it, but I like, didn't want to fuck it up. So I just left it like that. It still clips in, just the sides are a little bit thicker. So 